In today's video, I'm going to show you how to unapply a credit in QuickBus Online. So you applied a credit to the incorrect invoice and now you want to undo the transaction. Now this was a question I got in my comments and I'm and this is the reply to it. All right, so this credit memo was applied to some invoice in here. And as you can see, there's a lot of invoices and we don't want to go through them. So the quickest way to figure out what QuickBus did um, is you're going to click on the credit memo to open in. Right. Then QuickBus opens up the credit memo. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go over here by paid. You see it applied it to two, I mean, two payments made. You're going to click on that and just select any of these, any of the invoices that was, that the payment was made to. So now the payment screen will show up. This will show you your credit memo and what invoices that QuickBooks or you accidentally apply the credit memo to. So what I'm going to do here to cancel out this transaction is I'm going to unselect these and then it auto obviously automatically unselects the credit memo and I'm going to click save and close down here at the bottom of the screen. And it brings up this error message here saying the transaction you are editing is linked to others. Are you sure you want to modify it? Yes, you do want to modify it. Now, as you can see, my credit memo is here and it is unapplied. Whereas before it had closed next to it, it is unapplied. So now I can go ahead and apply this credit memo to whichever invoice I choose to apply it to. All right, so you will see, let me show you quickly. If I click on receive payment on this invoice, so let's say this was the correct invoice and I click receive payments here. And I um, will see my credit memo show up. It's gonna bring up all those standard invoices and I just want to apply it to this invoice. So I'm gonna unclick that, unclick that, click on this and the credit memo. So the payment would be 1080 and 1080. Good. Now I'm going to save and close. You will see the credit memo has been closed and this has a partial payment on it. That's it for on applying a credit memo in QuickBooks Online. And thank you guys for watching and do subscribe to the channel and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.